Hi everybody, Dave Sullivan here for The Credit Guy TV. This time we're going to go through collections um, and how to address them. You should have already received your annual creditreport.com free copy of your credit report and then tried to dispute something online and then addressed your one-time 30-day lates on open active accounts. Now we're going to talk about how to handle collections. And the best way to handle a collection is to not have one. The collection companies are required to send you a letter prior to filing that collection on your credit report at least 30 days before filing it. So you've got time to address it. So as soon as you get a letter, there's no reason not to uh, address it at that time. That's the best way to handle them. Um, so if everybody, you know, gets a letter from a collection company and you're not sure if it's real or not, so you toss it. All right, so it finally got on your credit report. Now what do you do? Well, if it's very recent, if you happen to catch it when it just came on within six months, you're going to want to pay that right away. Um, pay that off right away. And when you pay it, you should ask them to remove it. Say, look, I didn't get the notice or whatever the honest answer is. I wasn't sure if it was real. Uh, I will pay this for you, but you have to remove it from my credit report. Very most of the time they will agree to do that. They're not required by law to report the information. So in order to um, get it paid off, they're, they, they'll be very willing to remove it prior to paying the account. Now, if you've already paid it, you can't go back to them and say, hey, will you remove it from my credit report? Because nine times out of 10, they won't even talk to you. So if you had a recent uh, collection within six months, pay that off, and then as time goes by, the date uh, reported will kind of sunset on your FICO score and it'll take you know a couple of years uh, before it has very little effect on your FICO score and then fall off after seven to ten years. Um, now let's say you had an old collection well the same rules apply you're gonna want to call them up and say hey you know I'll pay this off if you um, remove it from my report. Uh, it's very important if you're going to go ahead and make the commitment to pay it off that you get something back. Um, if you were to pay an old collection that hadn't reported in a long time, what's going to happen is that old collection is going to now come uh, up till today. So really, if you pay an old collection, you're going to wind up hurting your credit score. And what happens is you make that uh, account more relevant to your FICO score because it has a new reporting date. So you want to be very careful when handling collections. It's a big mistake a lot of people make when they go to apply for a mortgage. They say, well, I guess i got to pay all these collections to get a mortgage. And they kill their score and they don't get the mortgage. Um, so be very careful when handling collections. Now, if you have one that you don't recognize, there is a verification of debt letter that you can send. If you Google verification of debt letter, um, there should be some resources online for you. But uh, that's how you handle collections. Um, be very careful when handling them. It will affect your score greatly if you take an old one and make it more relevant today. All right, so you, with a little bit of me, we're gonna change the credit industry. Thank you.